Oh, look at you. The sun. Just being you. Finding your happiness within, Leo. Hey there, Leo. How are you? It's your Force Fair here. Nice to see you again. Welcome in and welcome back to the Hundred Acre Woods where I read cards out here. So let's read some cards for you, Leo. I have your 2023 deck that I am going to use um, to get messages from your angels. I feel like I've been neglecting my zodiac signs with these back office reads. And because it's a long weekend here in the north, um, it's been a four day long weekend. I wasn't able to record with all the kids home um, on main stage. So I feel like I've been neglecting the zodiac signs. So I have been doing back office reads with the 2023 decks of the zodiac signs. So we have your old uh, sun and moon tarot deck, which I absolutely love. I know I say that with every deck, but I had forgotten just how beautiful these cards are, how, how beautiful they feel, not just in the hands, but the images. Um, I just love this deck. So we are going to get messages from your angels, their thoughts, feelings, and their advice for you. And then we're going to take a look at what you think of their advice, what you feel about their advice, and then the actions you're going to take with that advice already popping out. This is what they think of you. The hermit. Your angels feel. The eight of swords. interference your mind might be getting in the way okay and then their advice for you ace of pentacles brand new beginning and maybe how you think Leo and what you think do you see these in the Eight of Swords, it's like there's strings attached. With every idea, with every thought, there's a string attached. That's very interesting. So, what do you think of the Ace of Pentacles as their advice? The Princess of Pentacles. Are you birthing someone? So I almost said someone new. That's funny. I'm going to go put over here. Yeah, that's better. Are you birthing something new? But I did say someone new. So that could mean something for some of you. What do you feel about the angel's advice? King of Swords. I love this King of Swords. Um, it's like you're following your intuition with those three crows up there. And again, in the heart space, we've got a lot of thought. We've got a lot of swords in the heart space for you right now, Leo. I'm feeling as if you need to sort of separate yourself from your feelings to make logical decisions. Okay. And then with this advice, the Ace of Pentacles from your angels, what are your, your I almost said movement, with, the, with me looking at this King of Swords. How are you going to move forward with the angel's advice? Oh, look at you. The sun. Just being you. Finding your happiness within, Leo. And it's all, in, in your card, it's with a partner. So if you have a partner, you are happy with your partner. It's reciprocal. You are both just in love with each other. There you are. Beautiful. Now, I only have the one deck, so I'm going to take from the bottom of the deck that which you might not see. And that's the Prince of Pentacles. You might not see how long something is going to take. With the Prince of Pentacles, that's the Knight of Pentacles. It's a very slow moving knight. So 
slow and steady with that Prince of Pentacles, but this is also the air of the Earth element, and we do have a lot so far. The Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. And this Prince of, of Pentacles really speaks of structure, the bull being there, the Taurus energy. Um, and he's holding the world. So my my focus is on reaching the world. It could be through the internet. Um, and, and it's funny, the structure and the internet. The internet can be seen as wild, but it's also very structured with the AI. And, and yet wild all at the same time with the energies that are running through it. So it's it's really being um, strategic, this this Prince of Pentacles here. And that's what you might not see, that you're already in this, this energy. So, the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit for my Leap of Leos. Why is the Hermit? Why is the Hermit? What do the angels see Leo going within? Let's take a look over there. The universe, oh my, three majors. The universe is clarifying the hermit. So it's interesting that I mentioned the, my eye focusing in on this world, but Leo's focusing in on the universe and the hierophant. Leo. We have the universe clarifying the hermit, the universe, and the hierophant. Take a look at your soul's mission. Like, I feel like you're here on a mission, Leo, especially with the first card being a major and being clarified by majors. Now, the hierophant is a teacher. It symbolizes wisdom, knowledge, and teaching that knowledge. And with the universe being here, it's like for a lot of you Leos, you are here, your mission is to soul search and to inspire others to, to do their own soul searching, to find their mission, to be able to move forward through these ever-changing times of how things are changing. And with the Hermit and the Hierophant, I know I'm not finishing sentences. My mind is running very fast on this. I have Taurus in that Prince of Pentacles and the Hierophant as well. And that again is structure. So it makes me think that maybe the universe, the structures are changing within the universe, really being aware of ourselves, of our connection to the universe, to God. That connection through the Hierophant, that wisdom is how your angels see you and you guiding teaching others to find their spot and it's through thyself through the hermit now how they feel about you the eight of swords that you are very much and again this is study the hierophant is study the hermit study and with the eight of swords it's almost like don't get caught up in one philosophy or the other it's almost like take everything in and decipher through your emotions this is the heart space how you feel about it like just with these new ideas with these new revelations how do you feel about it and don't get sort of locked in or 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 stuck in one idea philosophy what have you clarify by the four of cups and the king of pentacles again more Taurus energy, more structure, more stability, security. This is how they feel about you, Leo. That your emotions are stable. I'm just going to put it that way. Your emotions are stable. You're not making any business, because again, I'm getting a lot of business with the King of Pentacles, and I, as I did with the Prince or the Knight of Pentacles. And that you're making wise decisions with the Eight of Swords being right underneath the Hermit, not allowing your overthinking, because the Eight of Swords can be overthinking, to get in the way of your business decisions. 
not letting your emotions rule your business decisions. And this is what brings us to the Ace of Pentacles. And it reminds me of the world. You can see that. Of that what you might not see is that your decisions when it comes to business, you see that? It looks very similar to the world that that prince of pentacles is holding. And the ace of pentacles, this is their guidance moving forward for you. They've got three of pentacles working with those that you feel a connection to with the four of cups. Don't let overthinking get you in this sort of apathy or boredom with what you're doing, because what you're doing is on the cusp of the breakthroughs of the universe. It's, it's almost like it's moving with the universe. Whether you know it or not, Leo, you are on the cusp of something brand new with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, which is going to really a lot like, and again, with these, with these sunflowers, it's like that you're finding you through your work. You're finding your place in this universe through your work. And it's going to yield wealth, great results. And, and I almost feel with the sun card being right beside this nine of pentacles, that you're finding happiness within your work, that this gives you joy. And do you see how this pentacle could fit right into this hole? It's almost like you have found something that is, is filling you up, hierophant, hermit, universe, that that you were really, this is your purpose. This is your life. This is your, not just your interest, but your passion. And it's teaching others how to do the same thing. It might not be the same Ace of Pentacles thing, subject, industry, whatever this means, this Ace of Pentacles means to you. I'm almost, I'm also hearing, as I said, industry, industry innovators, like you're innovating an existing industry or innovating a new industry or a new way of going about things. In your industry which brings us up to the prince there's a lot of earth energy there's a lot of stability a lot of stability the princess of pentacles and it's like you're birthing something new and what you're birthing uh, and then and again it goes back to the ace of pentacles and this is what you think of this advice that yes leo is in fact birthing a new way a new way in their industry um, new ways of this is the prince of Pen the princess of pentacles is that of study of of learning as all uh, pages are student cards but this is birthing something new that maybe is already established but a new way of of doing it and it has to do with study learning and of thyself you could be in uh, and again, as I said, a new industry of any metaphysical. I'm feeling very, with the universe here, metaphysical, looking and being able to see that which is unseen. Kind of like a pregnancy where we women know there's a baby growing inside of us. We, but we're, and maybe some of us are aware of what, you know, developmental stage the baby's at. Um, but this is about believing in the unseen. And it's clarified by the Empress. Well, Leo, if you have, if you are an Empress, or you have an Empress in your life, you might be expecting a baby because both of these females are pregnant. I'm just saying. <laughs> and if you do have a new seed, congratulations. Congratulations. I also see two bunnies here. You see that? So if you already have one child, expect another. Or if this is your first child, um, congratulations. And the Eight of Cups. Now I find this interesting. What I find interesting about this, Leo, is that the Eight of Cups talks about indifference. I don't feel that you're indifferent. I feel that you're putting up boundaries, emotional boundaries. And this is in, this is what you think of this Ace of Pentacles. This could be walking away from X. I always see the Eight of Cups, especially with it walking away from 
expectations. This is when you put a lot of, I'm just going to say passion and emotion into what you do, which is what I really picked up here with the Ace of Pentacles. And so it's setting boundaries that maybe you don't go into overwork mode or workaholic mode, that you pay attention to your spouse, uh, mother of your children, um, your partner. And as I see in the sun here, that this is something that you emotionally have to do so you don't become overloaded, especially if this is your first child or um, you've gone through it and this is your second child or a new child coming. This is really being there for the feminine in your life, if you're masculine, but protecting your own emotions. I'm going to say, Leo, let your feminine be there for you as well. The, the, the feminine to the masculine in a very healthy way is that soft place to fall, uh, especially with a very hardworking, as I see here, masculine, who can sometimes, the masculines can sometimes um, use work as a way to release um, emotions that are building up that they don't want to burden onto the feminine, especially in a time of pregnancy or uh, a baby's just been born, or you have a new addition to the family. She might be nursing and up all night. And, and there's nothing as a masculine with a nursing feminine, you can't, unless they pump and you can feed the baby with a bottle, there's really, there's not much a masculine to do, but then just to be there. So this could be really emotionally overwhelming for you, Leo for you masculines out there. And so just know, especially with the sun being here, you are more than enough. You are enough for the masculines here that are kind of going through and helping their feminine get through the pregnancy and delivery and the first, I call it, I kind of call it the fourth trimester. And it's those, uh, the first three months that baby is after delivery and it's really sort of adjusting, learning, <laughs> and, and sort of brings me back to the Hierophant, the Hermit, the universe, that this has been going on uh, for millennia, right? The birthing of new children into this world. And so I find it very interesting with the King of Swords here. It's like you're following your intuition. Your intellect is following your intuition. And the King of Swords, this is how you feel. And, and it's like, again, walking away from getting overly emotional to get back into your logic, get back into your, your wisdom, your knowledge, your leadership, and, and running with it. And that's clarified by the Five of Wands. Strife. And the Queen of Cups. I see this King of Swords running towards this Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is, again, emotional integrity. Like, if you're not feeling something, Leo, you don't want to be emotionally uh, fake. You know, like being there. If you can't be there, you will, I'm, I'm feeling, go back, go to work, right? And, and kind of think about it with the King of Swords here about how to avoid uh, flare-ups, how to avoid battles, combative energy, how to avoid frustration or conflict, how to reduce the fire that you know <laughs> that you can bring. The King of Swords, again, it's he's running towards that queen of swords and the king is passionate he's brilliant brilliant thinker so it's almost like in how you feel about the angel's advice and it could be that the angels see you in a marriage with the hierophant here looking for your yourself within and the sun here within a relationship and wanting to be there. So let's see. Moving forward. 
with this advice moving forward you're moving into happiness if you aren't there already i kind of feel leo you're already there and that's clarified by responsibility it's almost like you are taking on the responsibilities taking the burdens away from the feminine from your partner um, and and not feeling oppressed but really looking towards the good the sun and yeah there you are strength nine of wands there you are holding that sun do you see that well, out of all the wands that looks very much like the sun card you have the strength to set your boundaries keep your boundaries you have the strength to carry the load to do the work to provide if you're a masculine i'm really feeling a masculine energy here today um and a feminine again it's it's very equal but for you masculines watching out there you have the strength to to put up the boundaries, to set the boundaries, especially emotional boundaries, to be able to still be stable and secure. Again, with all this Taurus energy, with the Prince of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. This is a lot of Earth energy. And yet you are still here, showing up as the Sun card, moving forward. I really feel, Leo, that you know yourself. You've done the work. With the first three cards out and the angels see that. With the universe, Hermit, and Hierophant, you see who you are with the sun card here. And maybe with you growing a family, you see yourself in your little ones as well. And that's a beautiful thing. Bottom of the deck. And that which you might not see and clarifying, the Prince of Pentacles... Yeah, the Princess of Cups. Look at this. The Princess of Cups. This this Princess of Cups rises above um, strife or conflict. Um, the Princess is a beautiful energy of dreamy. I, it's like a dreamy Piscean type of energy. Romantic fantasy. This is, again, rising above the Five of Wands, the strife. And it's with your mind, it's through your mind with the King of Swords to really see who you are and to live it. You're just living your life, Leo, as you do. Let's get some angel number summons. Look at that. Master number. 33. Let me get my book. I don't. I have to read children. 33. Let's take a look. Ooh, Master Jesus and his angels are with you. This is what this reads all about. This is a sacred time for growth and healing. And that's what I see for you, Leo. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.